Chevy lied to us. They were like, you're not getting any more Camaros. You don't get any more of these. We're done. 2024 is the last year. And then they were like, just kidding. We're gonna make one more. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Mark, and today we're gonna talk about the new Camaro Z28. So why is this news so important that the new Z28 is coming out? Well, let's talk about last year. In 2023, Chevy announced that they are no longer gonna be making the Camaro. The 2024 model year was going to be the last year of the Camaro. This is obviously not a 2024. This is a 2018. This is my personal SS1LE. But as for me and several other Camaro owners, it is a little disappointing to find out that the car that you love and drive is going to be discontinued and they're not going to be making any more of them. But as I already said, Chevy has announced that they're going to have one more model year well, they're not gonna have them all year. They're gonna have one special edition Camaro. It's going to be the 2025 Camaro Z28. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering, what is the Z28? What is so special about it? And why are we so excited about it? All right, for me to tell you what the Z28 is, let's go back to the fifth gen Camaro, which came out in 2010. In 2010, Chevy decided that they were gonna bring the Camaro back after many years of not having one. And they made a fifth generation Camaro. I'm sure all of you remember when it came out on the Transformers and we had Bumblebee and he was the brand new Camaro. Now, the fifth generation Camaro lasted for five years, from 2010 until 2015. And in the last year, 2015, Chevy decided that they were gonna upgrade that year specifically, and only that year, they were gonna do some cosmetic upgrades and a couple other things to it. What they did was on the front, they gave it a different grill. In the rear, they gave it different tail lights. The car looked better to me. I liked the 2015 the best out of all the fifth gen Camaros but that's a personal taste. I'm sure there's a bunch of you that like the early ones better. Now in 2015, it wasn't just a cosmetic upgrade. They also came out with this new model. This thing was a track focused car that you could drive on the street. It was lightweight. It had more power. This thing had the LS7 that's out of the Corvette. It made 505 horsepower. This thing had more suspension mods. It had more aero. This thing was the new Camaro Z28. This thing was so good, it beat the Porsche 911 around the Nürburgring that year. With the fifth generation car being so good, we gotta wonder what the new one's gonna be like. They haven't actually told us what they're going to be doing with it, but we can make a few guesses. All they've announced so far is that they're going to be making one for next year. Now, I'm gonna take a few guesses on what it's going to be and some of the options you're gonna get. I think they're gonna copy a lot of what they did with the fifth generation Camaro. So I think the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna go with aerodynamics on the fifth gen. They had a very big front splitter, and I think they may even put a big wing on the back of this thing just for the fact that like all of the new Corvettes, they're all getting big wings and everybody wants big wings. So I think we're gonna get a big wing, hopefully. As for the suspension, I think they're gonna go with the spool valve suspension like they did on the ZL1, just because that's the best suspension they have. They put it on the Maros and the Corvettes. As for the brakes, I think they're gonna possibly go with the 1LE setup. If they don't do that and they wanna go all out, they might go with some kind of carbon ceramic setup. For the interior of the car, they're obviously gonna have some better seats in there and maybe some couple little carbon fiber pieces here and there to make it look nice. But I think most of it's gonna stay the same. I'm thinking possibly they might put a half cage in it, like some of the track focused cars like the Porsche 911 GT3 and things like that. They could put something like that in for safety since it's gonna be such a fast car. But the real question about this car is what are they gonna put it in for an engine? Now, everybody knows that the new ZR1 Corvette just came out and that thing puts out over a thousand horsepower. I don't think that they're gonna go that much just for a track focused car. I think they're gonna do something possibly like they did for the fifth gen where it is a high horsepower naturally aspirated engine. So the new LT6, I think is going to be our engine. It's a flat plane crank. It puts out 670 horsepower. This thing revs to 8,600 RPMs. This sounds like this might be the engine that they put in there because it's going to sound the best. It's gonna have the most power. It's gonna be the most special engine they're gonna put in Camaro. Now, all this is speculation. Nobody actually knows what it's gonna look like yet. Um, I asked AI to build me some pictures, be like, hey, this could be something that we could have but nobody actually knows until it comes out. Hopefully it's gonna be the best Camaro yet. I do think it's gonna be on the pricier side, just like they do with every special Camaro or Corvette. And I don't know how much it's actually going to be, but I'm gonna guess it's in the six figure range. 